Do -do 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 -do. All right, folks, welcome back to Let's Play Rumbo Roses, the uh, alternate character stories thing. Welcome back to Ridius Challenge Dungeon. Sorry, that's um. I've been watching Veteran 01, whatever one's Let's Play of um. Final Fantasy, the After Years, some game for the Wii. And I find it really entertaining because uh, he gets really, really angry when things don't go right. I know that's not nice of me, but he gets angry in a way that's kind of like, you know, fun to watch. Um, but yeah, when I showed uh, Boba the Vulture a couple of his videos, uh, I just happened to pick one that opens with, Welcome back to Radius Challenge Dungeon. I'm doing kind of an over-the-top impression of him. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, Boba the Vulture found that pretty entertaining. But sorry, we're not actually doing Radius Challenge Dungeon. We're going to be playing as Sergeant Clements, who um, has, I guess, a swimsuit and a stripper cop outfit. Because she is a stripper cop. This isn't. This, these are outfits. These exist in the real world. They are worn exclusively by women who have been paid to go to a bachelor party to briefly pretend to be an actual police officer who's come responding to a noise complaint and who then begins to strip. Um, does this make sense as a wrestling gimmick? Probably not. I mean, yeah, in that, like, if it's... If the whole point of the fed oration is to, you know, for the women to be sexy, a la glow or wow or whatever, then yeah, I could see them doing this. Um, if they're going to attempt to maintain that these people are athletes and that they want to win championships and stuff, and that the characters they portray are somehow what they are in real life, this one uh, would be a pretty difficult one to pull off, I would think. <laughs> anyway, uh, she's a stripper. Uh, she also rides a motorbike, so... Like Rowdy Rako, she has exposed parts of her leg, which will become horribly burned when she rides her motorcycle. But hey, do you have a favorite saying or word? Oh, what's your favorite Dostoevsky work? What are your measurements? Dirty bird. 36, 28, 35. Dirty bird. A it's a very special episode of Blossom. What's your type? A guy who's tough, looks good in leather. Whoa. He rides a bike like a modern day cowboy. My cowboys didn't ride bikes, lady. Uh, who would you like to meet most with right now? What? I don't understand that, but you know. In such a long time, I done forgot. What do you know about Saren? And the sovereign Saren's flagship. Tearing the town with my guns blazing. Your guns would be your tits, right? What do you do on a typical day? Anyone who crosses me. Want me to haul you in too? Into what? Okay. Dixie Bomber, bull ride, time to break you. Down you go. Excuse you? You wouldn't do that to poor Dixie, would you? Dicks and Buster. She just does not seem to have anything nearly as cool to say as, uh... Yeah, okay, she doesn't have as much cool stuff to say as, uh, Roddy Rako did. But Roddy Rako's, like, freaking rules, dude. Roddy Rako's awesome. Like, too ridiculous and silly to, like, take it all seriously, but still, a lot of fun. Sergeant Clements, I don't know how easy it'll be to win with her in, uh, story mode. I remember in Double X, she's a freaking beast. I believe, like, she seems to think that she's a Diablo character on Hell difficulty. Because she has, like, she takes, like, half damage from physical attacks. Ridiculous. Anyway. She's, like, Baal. How y'all doing? Yeah, pretty good. How are you? Clements, the sexy wrestling cowgirl from Texas. It really should be Clements, changed, but... You say? <laughs> well, actually, I'm a cop now. Just yeah. when I thought the fans were loving me, they started booing me for little old fouls. Like dressing I'm like a stripper. the public a lesson they won't soon forget. I had to arrest entire As arenas full of people. Woman, I'm the good guy, no matter what I do. <laughs> I'm gonna lock up everyone who rubs me the wrong way. Don't make a rub joke, J.G. So what if I'm a crooked cop? You better be careful. I don't care who you are. You cross me, you do time. Do it hard time. 
Uh, sadly, I don't think she uses the boss man slam as a move in this game. Now, um, were she to go to WCW, which of course no longer exists, they would have no choice but to do a storyline in which she is no longer allowed to dress as a cop and instead becomes the guardian angel. <laughs> which would be awesome. And then she would, like, despite having never been a credible main event wrestler, suddenly get promoted to wrestling against Vader at pay-per-views for the title. Just to sort of kill time between Vader sting feuds. But once again, I'm proving that while I was a wrestling fan, it was like, you know, 10, 15 years ago. Okay, that's just a little stupid. Alright, folks, thanks for watching the show. Uh, drive safely on your way home. I'm sorry, there's no amount of, like, lip movement, eye thinning you can do to look sexy after you just did something that stupid. <laughs> But the arched back thing, well, that could work. Was it, was it Beavis who once said to Butthead, When a chick, like, does that thing with her back, that means she wants it. <laughs> I don't really understand that. Because, yeah, it does sort of have that if, if impact. It's kind of subliminal in the male mind. A chick arches her back like that, it's kind of a turn-on. But Why? Why in the world would arching your back be a turn on? I don't like from a Darwinian point of view. It's like, yeah, a lot of that's, you know, like, okay, like big boobs is kind of like, oh, well, I guess that means that she'll be able to nurture my offspring or whatever. And you know, nice legs means that she's in good shape and she can run away from predators. I mean, there's, there's Darwinian explanations for most of the thing about women that men find physically attractive. Well, what is the back arching thing about? I don't know. Anyway, get this. So, uh, I guess this means Rowdy's not going to be my uh, final opponent. You know what you need, Reiko? To keep our feud fresh, you need to transform into a biker slut. I'll never do that! I'm goodness and light and purity! I would never become some kind of biker slut! I don't know. Don't discount the idea too fast, Reiko. Meanwhile, I must strangle you. <laughs> Everybody seems to have the camel clutch in this game. And everybody seems to have this move. Reiko's like, hmm, interesting. I must file this move away for future consideration. It might make a valuable addition to my own moveset. Should I ever become a biker slut and join the Road Warriors? Yeah, whatever, get over. You know, the first opponent really just exists to build your confidence, but at this point, uh, I do not believe I've been hit. I am pretty much stomping the crap out of Reiko. <laughs> Ow. Up yours! Damn it. Shades of IRS, folks. I'm a super strong, super hot, super insane biker cop, and I'm gonna go for moves from the move set of BK Wall Street. The thing about VK Wall Street that I learned once from Bobby the Brain Heenan on an episode of Worldwide is that the, the V stands for victory and the K stands for kaboom. <laughs> That's your uh, VK Wall Street factoid for the day. Boom! Dropping the elbow. It's the people's elbow. The horny people's <laughs> elbow. She names the move in honor of, you know, her fans, who are horny people. Alright, let's uh, get you humiliated so I can do an H move. Maybe I'll... In order to avoid stretching this thing too thin, I won't do two different finishers in this match. I'll just probably do... Or three. I'll probably just do two. I'm telling you, Reiko, you really should put some thought into becoming a biker slut. That's just a stupid looking move. I'm sorry. Boom. Okay. Ow! Clothesline from help! Oh, you know, at this point, I might as well go for her other finisher. I've almost got one saved up. Oh, that's a heelish thing to do. 
pulling them up like that. Of course, I have to wait for it to stop being humiliated before I can figure out how to do the move, because I won't see the cue that says it's time to do a lethal move. It'll just keep showing me that I can do an H move. Big boot. You know, I haven't been doing her running big boot at all. Maybe she doesn't even have it in this game. Or as the sergeant instead of... Uh... Alright, I don't know how to do that move. That is what I have determined. How do you do this stupid move? Am I going to have to get on a fac and work out how you do this move? I gotta find maybe maybe she has to be lying down uh, on her stomach. I don't know. She keeps bouncing around so that she. Oh well, if this pins her, I'll go with it. Okay, maybe now, maybe not. It's not a top rope thing, is it? I didn't think it was a top rope thing. Ow. That was stupid. Oh, man. I have no idea how to do this. I was hoping maybe it was a running thing. It's not. Oh, I'm going to waste a whole video just trying to figure this out. Maybe I need to be running. Sissy pants. Oh, well, I can't figure it out. I'm just going to have to end it. Uh, I'll take a break between videos and uh, figure out what this move is. And I may have just put Dixie irrevocably behind and not be able to win in three videos. Oh, my goodness. But anyway, folks, this has uh, been Let's Play Rumble Roses, Sergeant Clements Edition, uh, part one of hopefully three. Uh, this is Mysterious JG talking at you. Uh, I'm going to find out how the heck you do this other finisher. And uh, then we will pick up where we left off in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.